Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's boy Shingi. As usual, you already know what it is. Guys, I'm super excited to be making this video because on my favorite program right now for editing and to getting my photos looking the way I like them to look. And the program we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is Dehancer Film Simulation for Photography. I recently did a video with them, actually, on the video um, version of this software and it was absolutely stunning. So I'm really excited to showcase this um, this software to you guys because, again, it's, it's a really good start point for anybody that is shooting uh, digital and film photography as well but especially for digital so um, as you guys know the prices of film went up and it's been a lot harder to be shooting film you kind of have to think about every single role now I switched to digital as well as I'm also gonna be shooting film as you guys know if you guys have been following the channel I kind of use them both simultaneously so the really cool thing about this is that now I can have my um, Film photos and my digital photos kind of work together and live together in one um, space, but not having them both look very, very different. And uh, this plugin has been really, really helping. Like I said, this is the plugin that I use. It's available for Lightroom and Photoshop, but we're gonna get on the computer and we're gonna start talking about how to use it and show you guys some of the knobs and how I pretty much edit some photographs and to just get you started and to get a, a good feel of how the program is. If you guys are really interested in this plugin and you're interested in purchasing, there's a 10% off code, uh, code Shingy on checkout. It's gonna be linked down below with the purchase link as well uh, use that code you're gonna get 10% off and it also helps the channel out as well but I'm really excited to talk about this plugin and to kind of show you guys uh, part of how it looks and also part of my editing process now as of 2022 and I'm really excited to kind of use this a lot and you guys are gonna see the consistency and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples before we get started right now these are some of the photos that I shot um, I'm gonna put a digital photograph and also a film photograph to kind of show you guys how they kind of look similar and they kind of work together and how you could still have consistency with your digital photographs as well as your film photographs. It doesn't need to be a conflict. There's no longer a need to be, oh, choose this, choose that because Dehance, it kind of helped us um, fix that problem and also resolve that issue between having to choose. You can shoot digital, you can shoot film now something i've always been preaching and i'm really excited to sort of have this plugin be um front first and uh kind of make it easier for everybody to sort of switch to digital or incorporate digital into their workflow so before we get started guys i'm going to be using a wacom tablet to do my editing uh if you guys want me to make a video on the wacom tablet and how i kind of use it for my retouching and all my editing process uh comment down below and let me know as well and i would love to make a video on the wacom tablet so uh with that being said we're gonna switch over to the screen now oh yeah so the project was shot on the Canon EOS R and um, it was used through capture one so I use capture one to capture the images live on there and if you guys want me to do a digital photography setup when I'm on set um, comment down below and let me know and I'd love to create a video on that to kind of show you guys my workflow uh, while shooting digital as well so the image straight out of the camera from uh, capture one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go edit in uh, image edit with and we're gonna go Photoshop and we're gonna pull it up in Photoshop right now oh yeah so that's the second image that we're gonna be using this is gonna be an example image I already kind of pulled this one up but here's the image right here so initially when I do pull it up into Photoshop we're gonna go straight to the Dehancer plugin we're not gonna do a whole editing uh, session that is in in intensive uh, so we're gonna go straight to the Dehancer plugin so whenever you want to get the Dehancer plugin after you purchase it or try the free trial um, you're gonna go down here after installing and you're gonna see it in your filter and then you go go Dehancer film so this is where you're gonna see the plugin so the plugin is really really simple guys really simple to use um, it's very straightforward as you guys can see and um, we're gonna go on color negative film since we're gonna have negative film so there's also again film types over here motion picture color positive black and white instant and um, exotic I don't really go in there so we're gonna use it as the way I would use it so I'll go into color negative and in the color negative this profiles as well so you go on portrait 400 profiles and you can go on um, Kodak 160 profiles. You can go on Fuji profiles. Superior 1600. I never. I didn't even know it goes to 1600. Superior 200. And there's all these presets. They're practically presets that kind of give you a starting point and uh, the color profile that you'd use if you're you'd get if you're shooting this type of film. But obviously now it's on a digital image. So we're gonna go into Portrait 400 since I really like Portrait 400. Um, 
these are all the portrait looks that you're gonna get uh, there's the push and pull and the EV over here so it pretty much pushes and pulls the image depending on how the look would turn out to be so since we're on portrait 400 we're actually gonna go down here and kind of see what else we kind of get in order to play with this and uh, what other profiles we're gonna get in the color negatives because I don't want it to just be like portrait 400 so we're gonna go into the color plus this is the color plus um, color profile and uh let's go zero over here so that it's, you get the original so color plus we got gold 200 uh we got ektar to uh 2500 that's from the 1600s which is really cool so you're not only getting color profiles from like um the new film the film that we already have you're getting color profiles from all the films that you're gonna get and again this is a really good starting point i'm not saying that this is going to be the most perfect thing uh when you're actually going to be shooting this this is a really good starting point for your photographs because that's what i use as a start starting point so um we're gonna pick a color profile right now we're not gonna go through all the color profiles we're gonna pick the one that i would normally kind of go for and i would go for the fuji pro 400h because as you guys know i love fuji pro 400h and i love how it kind of looks so uh, don't look too much on the names. These are just namings. Uh, that's just my advice for anybody that is editing. It doesn't have to be the way it has to look. Remember, uh, technicians at the lab actually edit these photographs for you guys. So it doesn't have to look a certain way for you to do. It's just a stat. It's just a name. Don't look at the profile and be like, um, oh, this is what I'm going to get out of it. But at the same time, you kind of got to add your own style to this, right? So that's what we're going to do right now. And we're gonna try to play around with the knob, the push and pull knob, to kind of see. I'm a fan of warm photographs. So we're gonna go definitely on the push side. And on the right side, guys, this is where you're gonna get all your sources. So your sources and all the things that you're gonna need, your adjustments to better, um, to better edit your photograph, right? So we got temperature over here. You can actually adjust your temperature depending on what you like. And for me, again, I like the warm side. And again, this is just to get you started. And um, we're gonna, yeah, I kind of like to want to add the more magentas to get a little bit more of like, yeah, a little bit, a little bit more magenta. We could also kind of go in the green to get a more Fuji looking like. Um, and then there's also uh, do fringe. I don't really play with these much, but I do. Uh, move them around to kind of see what they do and if i don't like it i just kind of leave it and yeah not much not much i don't see a big difference in it and leave it where it was so we got another expand section over here you know what let me close all of these and we're gonna get to see all of them as we are able to um expand them as we go so we got the expand this one kind of deals with the blacks and um and your whites as well so kind of as this like washed out feel that i kind of get from film as you can you get as you guys can see on the blacks over here it's kind of that washed out uh feel again that you get from film that i really like to add in my photographs and on the whites we're gonna lower the whites a little bit actually uh yeah let's lower the whites a little bit or add a little bit more whites to kind of get the photo popping and again this is just to do the coloring for the image this is not the end result just i still gonna go into photoshop and do like some color adjustments and all that type of stuff as well so we're gonna go on the print side and on the print side i usually keep it on glossy but you do have all these other options on there as well so um tonal contrast uh, i kind of do like adding a little bit more contrast since i did the washed out thingy over here the the washing out the blacks and kind of bringing them up i'm gonna add a little bit more blacks but as you guys can see we still got the detail in the blacks but we still retaining the the that that detail in the blacks as well which is really really cool so color density i don't really mess with the color density i like keeping the saturation pretty high because i love saturation in my photographs so we're gonna move on from that one so now the film grain so one of the most impressive things about dehancer plugins is that their film grain is really really good guys i cannot stress that enough like all the film grain is really 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 good it seems really it's one of the closest programs that i found that have really close to film like um close to film like um grain structure which is really good it's not like that artificial crazy grain uh but this film size is really good like the film is really, really, really good. The film grain simulation. So we're gonna mess this. We're gonna mess with this a little bit and kind of add some film grain in there. Um, yeah, this is giving me like a little bit of like 
Portrait 800 kind of feel on the film grain. So I'm going to leave it on that because I want my film grain to kind of um, be very like evident and stuff. So resolution, we're going to play around with the resolution a little bit. A lot of this guys is just playing around and kind of playing with it a lot, a lot more. So you kind of get it. Like I want to add it to the shadows. Absolutely. Let's add it to the shadows. So we're going to go into Halation. So Halation is really, really cool, guys, because this is the effect that you get on Sinistil and all that type of stuff. So Sinistil really has good Halation um, where, you know, when you shoot it at night, you're going to get that glow around the lights. And again, Dehancer does an exceptional uh, job at using the Halation. So when you're using the Halation um, option, you could go Mask Mode. And Mask Mode will show you where the Halation is kind of uh, being affected and all that type of stuff and the smoothness and all that type of stuff so you can even add over here and don't limit it and you're gonna see there's gonna be um how how it kind of affects the image and how much halation is gonna add to the image there's also impact on how much impact the halation is gonna have and the blue tones and the amplify of the halation and the global diffusion but as you guys can see like it's 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 there it's there we're gonna take off the mask and you guys are gonna see boom it's gonna pretty much add all the halation that you guys have been seeing without the mask, right? So that's how much it's affecting it. So let's pull this back a little bit. We're not gonna add halation, but the option is there. And as you guys can see, it looks like real halation that you are getting from Sinistil, right? And that is a very, very impressive from a program. Again, that is, I don't know, it's from a program, man. You usually get this stuff from, um, from the film stock itself but you don't need that anymore so you could get this on a digital image that's the really cool thing about this um this dehancer program guys and it's really really awesome and really cool right so you can see that again like look at all the halation you could add this to any photo your night photo whatever you want to add to it will have halation on it and it will look realistic like the film as you guys can see again let's do that again uh let's go on the mask and, and try to add more halation and not limit it a bit and you can, you can see like it, it's 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 pretty there it's pretty on there you know like you can really control it a lot and that's really big that is a really huge feature for this program so now we're going to also look at the bloom so the bloom is really really nice again guys especially for portraiture i like adding it for my portrait uh stuff as well because it really works really really well um it kind of softens up the skin that's what i use it for i usually use the tiffin pro mist filter i'm not going to be stopping to use the filter but let's say i don't have the filter and i don't want to put it on the lens i can come in here and kind of use it as well you have the mask mode feature to see where it's going to be affecting um the image so as you guys can see the halation is there but the mask the mask option is really really cool to also add that i'm not going to add it to this image i don't really want it i don't want the bloom feature on there and there's the vignette feature but this one's kind of self-explanatory it's just a vignette that you're gonna get on the image um yeah this one's pretty self-explanatory but um usually i kind of want to leave it like this and then kind of use a preset and say okay now i'm going into the image and boom and the, um everything that i wanted is going to be applied onto the image which is really really nice and then from here i'll be able to sort of start editing and doing my edit usually guys for a rule of thumb I would have usually kind of copied the background layer before I did that. So we're going to go back and back and then we're going to do that. And I want to show you guys a really cool thing that Dehancer also has. So because I'm using Photoshop, you could use Dehancer film. Again, it's the preset that you have. You could choose it up here and that's it. You could pretty much add it on there. And the cool thing that you could also do with the program is when you go on Dehancer, you can actually save the preset. So every adjustment that you've made will also be on here. Um, but keep in mind, it's going to do it on the layer that you already have uh, applied the, uh, the effect on. But also, again, that's why I like keeping a note and copying the first layer and um, leaving it on the, uh, on the bottom. So you could go back in here and make adjustments if you want to make adjustments. And you could also favorite, right? You could also favorite. That's a really cool feature again that Dehancer also added. Let's say you like the preset and you already have what you want to edit on there. 
and you could just save it and it's gonna save all the all the settings that you have on there as well which is really really nice so we're gonna close this we're not gonna actually uh, apply that apply onto that and uh, nah and yeah now you could actually go in here and do your adjustments whatever you want to do to make it even more of your photograph but look at the grain guys let's look at the grain the grain looks phenomenal it looks really really good it looks really stunning and looks really real which is really really cool to sort of like kind of see from a plugin i think this is the closest plugin um that um is the closest to film photography and i don't know guys i think this is a really really big plugin like i said i'm going to be using this plugin this is a plugin that i use for every single photo i use it also for my film photos because i scan from home so from a regular scan i could also kind of get the effect of the film right away so i don't think i need to show you guys how i kind of do that because again it's just self-explanatory a photo is a photo whether it's film or not whether it's scanned or not it's still going to appear on your screen the exact same way and you could edit it the exact same way but again this is perfect for people that use it use uh scanning at home you just scan it as a flat photo you don't need to add colors into your epson scan or silver fast or a uh, view scan and then put it into Photoshop and then go onto Dehancer plugins and you're gonna be able to add your own effect or your preset on there and it works very differently from home for home scans as well and the cool thing is guys if you're using Photoshop you could apply the same filter onto all your images and everything that you're doing so that's the other cool thing it's a, it's a very quick fast workflow and um, yeah that's pretty much that guys but um, with that being said I hope you guys really like this and again if you guys are interested in this plugin you could get 10% off on your uh, order uh, just use code shingy on your checkout and you're gonna get you guys are gonna get a 10% discount on your order I hope you guys like this video and I hope it really helps like I said this is what I use for every single image now yeah that's about it guys thank you guys again uh, if you guys want to check out my work it's uh, Instagram at shop by shingy and uh, link to my website is shopbyshingy.com. I don't know why that's been really hard to say, but it's shopbyshingy.com if you guys want to check out my work. And um, yeah, I'm gonna showcase some of the video, some of the photos that I've uh, edited using the Hanser plugin. So um, yeah, enjoy this, guys, and I hope you guys have a splendid day and continue creating. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.